this 42 years old female was referred to me to rule out if there is any cause of the jaundice she is suffering from though she knew that she has a gallbladder stone by ultrasound performed a year back now what we are seeing is the right lobe of the liver with diaphragm and uh, the kidney. Now this is the right kidney. This is the central sinus echo complex. This is the liver. And this is a small ecogenic area with no posterior shadowing. This is a small hemangioma. <coughs> Hemangiomas are always benign in liver. I'm going to magnify to show you how a hemangioma appears. Small hemangioma will look like on ultrasound. Now this is a typical picture of a hemangioma. It measures. <coughs> approximately 10.3 millimeter into 9.2 millimeter it is in the liver all this area that you are seeing is the liver now coming back to the normal magnification the liver now you are seeing a mangioma but in small size. Here it is. So let's see the gallbladder. Because she has jaundice and has gives the history that she knew that he had a calculus and the gallbladder. Iklamba sal ake saroprabhu. Now this is the gallbladder. <coughs> this is the interior wall of the gallbladder. In this image the fundus is rather muffled and these are the calculi 1, 2 and 3 giving very sharp black posterior shadow. So this is the gallbladder and these are the calculi. This is the common bile duct and this is the portal vein. These are the dilated intrahepatic ducts at the proximal level. The outer surface of the liver is smooth texture is homogeneous and uh, echogenicity is normal when we compared with the right kidney we saw that now the, the appearance is very much suggestive of that uh, of the fact that the CBD is dilated the reason being that here is a double barrel sign that is that you can see double barrel sign is seen in cases of suspected obstructive jaundice dilated bile ducts this is the common bile duct this is the portal vein at the region of the porta hepatis and both